everyone. Aaron here for Zolotech, and this week has been filled with all sorts of upcoming Apple news and leaks and things like that. So I wanted to talk about not only iOS 14, but watchOS 7, all sorts of other information as well, including some new things from today. And so the first thing is I'll just cover real quickly. We're really expecting basically new iPads pro that have an updated camera. This could be coming later in the year or in a few months. We don't really know a hundred percent for sure. Along with the iPhone nine or iPhone SE two that will look very much like this iPhone eight with the same sort of display. And then also we should have some new updated Apple TVs and things like that, along with later in the year, Apple watches, but let's first talk about air tags. Now air tags doesn't have a major update. In fact, we haven't even seen it in reality or in person anyway, but air tags will be user locatable tags that we can place in a backpack or something like that. And it looks like Apple, instead of having a rechargeable battery may actually have user replaceable batteries to allow the device to work for a long time. So that's something I would definitely welcome. And hopefully we see something like that. Maybe they'll offer two options. It's really hard to say. Now let's start off with Apple TV. And Apple TV will supposedly be getting a new Apple TV remote. Now, a lot of people really dislike the current remote. I'm one of the strange people that actually likes the remote and I've never had an issue with it. Maybe if it was a little bit bigger, it would be better, but it seems like we're going to have an updated Apple TV remote with the next Apple TV new specs, but there's no real hint of a redesign of the box itself. Also, we may have a new workouts application that will be used along with the Apple watch. So if you're working out a lot and you want to use your watch to track your activity, there may be a new app where you can train with people on an Apple TV app, much like there's already apps, but Apple will have their own version. Now, speaking of workouts with the Apple watch, watch OS seven is expected to have some new features like we do every year. And the first feature would be a blood oxygen saturation sensor or an O2 sat sensor. And instead of just monitoring our heartbeat, you could use the same sort of sensor to monitor how much oxygen is actually in your blood, which is very helpful when working out or just checking to see your actual saturation level. It's something that you see at a lot of different healthcare facilities and things like that. They're kind of common at this point. So to have that on the watch would be really helpful. Now with watch OS seven, we may also have a tachymeter. And what that would mean is a dial around the outside edge or a new infograph with this ability. And that allows us to calculate speed over distance. So you could do that to time a race or something like that and let you know how fast someone's moving based off your tachymeter. So we may have that as a new watch face. And that's something that's on other watches that you can buy uh, that aren't Apple watches, but it's something that isn't really used that often. So it'll be interesting to either have that option or maybe have something similar to that in watch OS seven. Also, we may be able to share watch faces with others. So we'd have a share sheet in the watch app where you could actually share your watch face with family members and things like that. So let's go into the Apple watch app. So maybe you have some faces that you've actually used, maybe some of your photos from and things like that. You'll be able to send those to other people within the watch gallery. So maybe we'll be able to share one of these to a friend with maybe a background. We like something like that. Also, we will have a new kids feature. It looks like so where you can actually lock down your iPhone a little bit with screen time, you would have a similar app, not just screen time, but instead of screen time, you would have a kids feature where you could pair your Apple watch and your child's Apple watch to the same iPhone. And then you could adjust things like screen time or manage the watch and also have a school time mode for the watch. So it'd be really interesting to see that along with remaining information of sleep tracking along with the watch. This is something we've seen on other fitness bands and the Apple watch could benefit from it as well. And we would expect that as long as it has fantastic battery life. So that's pretty interesting. We should see all of those things with watch OS seven and probably more, but again, keep in mind, this is all sort of early information and this could change at any time. So they could leave some of these features in, they may take some out and add others. It's really hard to say now with iOS 14, this is most of the information that many of you are excited about, including myself. And the first thing is there may be a new app that uses your camera with augmented reality to show you what's going on around you. So similar to what you can do with Google maps, with maybe looking down the street for directions and things like that, you could use your phone pointed at a building and it would tell you what it is. So whether or not that would be a completely new app or incorporated into an existing app, it's hard to say, but it looks like right now it may be a new app where you could get a directory of say a store or something. As you point it down a store aisle, it will show you where, where things are. Maybe in an Apple store, you could 
raise it up and point it and it would show you that there's max on one side accessories on the other things like that so that could be kind of helpful and then with apple home or home kit there may be a new feature so that if you have lights connected to it they'll adjust throughout the day sort of like night shift but for your home overall so throughout the day maybe you could take out some of the blue light towards the end of the night if you have some phillips hue lights or something like that where it would adjust the light based on the time of day so if you had one of these turned on We'll take a second you'll see it light up here and then you could dim that over the time of the day where it would either dim or turn on and off or things like that so that'll be really nice right now you can do that of course manually or change it but it would be all done automatically based on what you have set up in the home app now also HomeKit has support for secure cameras so if you have a secure camera it will supposedly be able to recognize faces so right now if you have a Google Nest cam that will actually do that already where you can recognize a face but it would do it securely with iOS on the device itself using the neural engine so instead of actually sending that information out to Apple or out to someone else you can keep it all locally so that would be a really interesting feature as well now this year Apple seems to be focusing on other accessibility features last year it looks like they focused very heavily on accessibility for those that are visually impaired this year they may be focusing heavily on those that are hearing impaired so if you have less than perfect hearing you may have the ability to have your phone or other devices in your house detect sounds like anything from fire alarms to doorbells to babies crying or someone knocking on the door and instead have your phone use its haptic feedback or the taptic engine to let you know that something's going on so that's a really great way to do that i think if you have this in your pocket or in your hand and maybe someone knocks on the door it could give you a little tap in your hand and let you know someone's there so these could be features that we see this year with ios 14. now along with the haptic accessibility features there may be some airpod accessibility features where the phone can actually tune the airpods for those that hear different frequencies differently so maybe you can hear high frequencies better your phone could tune the airpods so that you could hear higher frequencies most of the time so if you're using your airpods you could hear around you more often or easily so it will do things like that and then finally your camera may be able to detect hand gestures now we've seen this a little bit with things like the Google Pixel 4 and 4XL where you can wave your hand using a using a little bit of a radar to detect that but instead Apple may be using vision to learn what your hands are doing so maybe that means sign language it's hard to say but there's not really a lot of details but basically it would be able to detect hand gestures now as far as wallpaper is concerned Apple may be changing the way it's categorized so if we go to settings and then we go back to wallpaper currently we only have a couple different options so if we go to choose new wallpaper we only have dynamic stills and live instead of just dynamic stills and live we could have categories such as flowers or plants or animals things like that where we could better sort our wallpaper based on what we like wallpaper seems to be something a lot of you like as well as myself and it would be great to have a section that's dedicated to wallpaper and be able to sort that now one of the most interesting pieces of information that's come out is that iOS 14 home screens may gain a list view and if you have an Apple watch you may already know that this exists on the Apple watch and if you go to your apps you can see you can sort them alphabetically and just scroll through a list now you can switch by just force pressing go to a grid view or go back to a list view and it looks like iOS 14 may gain something similar and so I mocked this up to see what it might look like and this is what it may look like maybe you'd be able to search at the top and then have all of your apps listed alphabetically so you could scroll through them I could see how this could be more helpful for those that have difficulty seeing the display and just want to scroll through things but I think a lot of us just want the ability to sort the applications how we want on the home screen and maybe have some widgets or some blank space or resize them and things like that but it does look like we will get a list view if Apple continues to add this in and leaves this with the final version now aside from that we should also get the integration of Alipay into Apple Pay so it looks like that's in the code I don't see why they wouldn't integrate that since that's something that's used around the world and so that makes sense to see that come to iOS 14 as well now with iPad OS there's been some information saying there'd be new keyboards with trackpad or mouse integration that 
could work really well in the future, but in order for that to work, you would need to redesign iPad OS a little bit to change the way the current mouse cursor works that was introduced with iPad OS 13. And so what that means is there may be a new mouse cursor that shows up when you're using the mouse and then quickly disappears when you're not using it. You'll also be able to two finger tap to right click on an app and basically get the touch to press or haptic press feedback that you would normally get. And then also there may be some new gestures to help you navigate between applications. So the current ones are a little bit confusing for some people. And right now, if I wanted to bring in multiple apps, it's a little bit confusing where you want to bring in maybe say settings here off to the side, it works fine, but it doesn't work as well as some other things do. So for example, if I want to bring music over here now, now we can bring it in and sometimes it snaps in place and it doesn't. And there's been a lot of complaints about that lately. So maybe we'll see a slight redesign with that. Now that's all of the information so far with iPad OS. And that doesn't mean we won't see more with iOS 14 and iPad OS in the future, but there's even more information that was kind of leaked today about new MacBook pros and MacBook airs shipping by June. Now there may have been delays. I thought we'd see them already, but they may be pushed back to June, but a MacBook pro and a MacBook air should be coming with the new keyboards. Also, there's some information from Ming Chi Kuo, which it's hard to say whether or not this is legitimate or not, but there may be new arm Macs coming as soon as the fourth quarter of 2020 or 2021. But in 2021, supposedly there will be a complete redesign of the MacBook pro that actually makes sense since it's been a long time for a full redesign. But at this point, I think they're doing well with the 16 inch and the upcoming 14 inch. So there's all of this information out there saying that all these updates are coming. We will only know this when WWDC is announced or whether or not Apple live streams it or whatever they're going to do this year. So it's hard to say what the, what they'll actually do with that, but I'm excited for iOS 14, particularly with a list view and hopefully a new home screen view along with some iPad OS changes and some other things that we hopefully aren't expecting and watch OS, of course. But let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you'd like to get your hands on this wallpaper, I'll link it in the description as I always do. If you haven't subscribed already though, please subscribe. And if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. As always, thanks for watching. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.